Hey guys, Colin from Spark here. We are outside the test lab here in Brantford, Connecticut, and we have something really exciting to show you. So we're starting a new series called The Traveling Bandit, and we're taking this stock bandit and gonna be sending it out to some of our friends across the country. But the first person we're sending it out to is Chris Schauber um, out in California, and he's gonna be showing how to change the shocks. And that's kind of the theme to it, is everybody that gets it is gonna do something different to it, just to kind of show off how you can customize this thing. Before we do that, we're gonna show you how to put on some tires. So the first thing is you're gonna to wanna to get somebody to help you out um, to flip the bike over, because we need it upside down. Aaron, you wanna give me a hand? Yeah. So definitely wanna take your battery off. That's gonna make this thing way lighter. And then flip. All right, so we're gonna talk about the tools that you need to get this job done. Um, first one's gonna be the cutters, an adjustable wrench, and your tire irons. All right, so the first thing is you're gonna wanna take your snippers and cut off these zip ties that hold the power cord in place. Next, we're gonna wanna unthread and disconnect this power cable. So it has two threaded knurls. Um, you just, you know, opposite. Just pop it out. Something to keep in mind is if you ever get a hull effect sensor warning on your display, uh, it's very likely it's this. So you just need to check that it's connected, um, thread it back in, nicely secured in there. All right, so next uh, we're gonna wanna just take our adjustable wrench and remove these nuts. Um, something you're gonna wanna keep in mind is how the washers are organized and arranged here. Um, they're specific. All right, so we're on the brake disc side of the rear wheel and you can see we've got the nut. There's a small standardized washer in there. And then on the inside, we have a locking washer with this little uh, nub indent. Sometimes um, when you're taking this wheel off, it can be pretty tough. Uh, that's just from the torque of the motor. So what we like to do is just remove that nut entirely and kind of just get your wrench slotted in there. Give it kind of a, a rock inside of the motor. And that tends to loosen it up. And there we go. All right, so we've got the tire here. Um, little hack. We have it on a trash can because it's much easier to just put the axle through so it's not rubbing on anything. Um, you obviously want to deflate your tire. We've already done that. And then you just want to go to work with your tire irons. So now we're just taking the tube out. We are gonna check for any cuts or uh, tears. You can use the old soap trick, spraying it on there with a, a spray bottle and seeing if there's any air bubbles. In addition, you're gonna wanna Check the inside of your tire. Make sure there's nothing in there. Nails. So next, we're gonna put a little bit of air in the tube. Not too much, just enough that there's a tiny bit of pressure. All right, so we're just gonna put the tube back in the tire now. So now we have our tube back in the tire. When we go to line it back up with the tire, we wanna just feed the stem through the hole in the tire and then put our cap back on. And that not only keeps it in place, but it prevents the tube from rotating around. So, just putting the tire back on now. You can almost always get the first side on by hand, which is what I just did. And then just using my tire iron to pry the other, other parts back in. But once we get the tire on, we wanna just make sure that the inside rim here is relatively even. And we'll do this as we're inflating it too. And that just prevents the tire from inflating off center. It'll make your bike hop. You, you can see it when the wheel spins. If it was upside down, it, it looks all uneven. So one thing you're gonna wanna check is most tires will almost always have their uh, PSI limit on here. So this one is eight to 20 PSI, and we brought it up to 20. So we're just gonna drop the, um, the wheel back in now. Um, you just wanna make sure the nuts and washers are aligned correctly. So again, we want that little nub there facing upwards, it's gonna drop in. So now we're pretty much ready to drop it in. I've got it lined up on this side with the derailleur. I've got the washers uh, lined up with the brackets and the slots they're gonna go in. And the brake disc is about to drop in too. You'll probably hear some brake pad rubbing when you uh, give it a test spin here. That's normal, the brake pads are just set pretty tight, so. 
we've tightened the nuts back now we're just going to reconnect the motor make sure that's pushed all the way in there tight and then thread it back and if you've got some zip ties definitely zip tie your cable back to its uh, brackets there now that we've got the wheel back on you're ready to grab a friend again and flip the bike yo Eric <laughs>